randomness. That's that's what this is going to be. Is uh, random. As some of you know, I have made a garden box. You know, growing some veggies and and um, you know, living off the land and whatnot. But um, I had this idea of um, getting a shed to put some of the you know yard garden whatnots in there. And um, first of all, they're a little pricey for what they are. Some of them, the nice looking ones anyway. But what I don't understand is why, why, if you look at sheds, they all look like little barns. Really? How many people need a little barn in their backyard? Would that go with your house? I mean, if you lived on a farm and you had a big barn, you might need a little barn to put some of the little barn things in. But, you know, in the city, do they not have, like, urban-looking sheds? Why do they all look barn-like? And even the ones that aren't so barn-like are still pretty country-looking. I don't know. I, I would just... And then, then there are some cool, really, like, urban barns, but they're, like, four times the price. I don't get that. I'm going to I'm going to make my own shed. It may fall down when the wind blows, but it will be my own shed and it will not look like a barn. I'm not sure what it will look like. But it just every time I drive by the uh the garden center and I see all these little mini barns everywhere, it just pisses me off because I want to get a shed for um some of my stuff cuz they take up space in the garage. And, you know when you talk to a friend every day and you think wow we have something to talk about every day and it seems like the more you talk the more stuff you have to talk about you know and whereas if you haven't seen somebody in six months you're like um well um yeah um yeah whatever I'm finding that's not true in making videos because um, the more I've made, the less I seem to have to say that would be remotely interesting. Not that this video is interesting at all. I'm just saying. Um, and, and it could be that I do not live an interesting life. It's probably more of it than anything else. Um, other than my family and um, you know, immediate geographical friends think I'm insane for doing YouTube and stick am and I'm not sure you know I think it's one of those things that you only understand it if you do it and and uh, I'm sure anybody that has any sort of weird quirk would say the same thing you know somebody who loves their sheep for instance would think well only someone who loves sheep would understand the love of a sheep not that I'm comparing YouTube or stick am to loving sheep I'm just saying that some people think it's really weird and when you talk about it they you can see them as soon as three or four words come out of your mouth the glaze forms over their eyeballs and I'm sure if I could see you all now you would all have a glazed look about you but for different reasons so I'm gonna end it right here good times chalk this up to the favorites you know, everybody favorite this one because this one's the best ever ever I did put lipstick on does that count for anything